The Prophet ﷺ is also showing us that there's categories between sinners. There's categories between sinners. Not all sinners are going to be the same. And the best of those that make a sid are those that repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A question that always comes forth, what is the difference between tawbah and istighfar? What is the difference between tawbah and istighfar? And as a general principle, they will mean the exact same thing when mentioned in isolation. However, if tawbah and istighfar come together, then they will have two separate meanings. And those two separate meanings are that istighfar is the physical act on the tongue that you will say astaghfirullah, that I seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then tawbah will have a distinct meaning that will consist of four conditions. That will consist of four conditions. Number one is abandoning the sin. Is abandoning the sin. That once you know you're doing a sin, you abandon it and giving it up right away. Number two is making the intention never to come back to it. Making the intention never to come back to it. Number three, feeling some sort of remorse, feeling some sort of regret over the action that you did. And then number four, is that if you took any of the rights of the people, then those rights be returned as well. Then those rights be returned as well. Scholars mention two other conditions that are not directly related to it, but they're still worthy of being mentioned. Number one is the importance of sincerity, that you're doing this act of tawbah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not for the sake of your parents, not for the sake of the community, not for the sake of your family, but because it is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants. And then the second condition they mention as an additional point, a second condition they mention as an additional point, is that it should be done before the time of death or before the sun rises from the west. Before the time of death or before the sun rises from the west. And they mention this, is that in order for it to truly be sincere, it has to be done during that time. Where the veil of the akhirah has still not been lifted. Whereas in the final moments of life, as the angel of death is taking your soul, the veil of the akhirah gets uplifted. And people see the reality of this world for what it is for. And then at that time, they will want to make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But by that time, it will be too late. By that time, it will be too late. Now the command of tawbah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The command of tawbah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Certain times, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will mention Repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa tubu ila Allahi jami'an ayyuhal mu'minun la'allakum tuflihun. That all of us should repent back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in hopes that we may be successful. So this is one way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands people to make tawbah. Another way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to make tawbah is by telling us how much He loves the people of tawbah. In Allah yuhibbul tawabin wa yuhibbul mutatahirin. That indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those that repent and those that purify themselves. A third way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to repent is how He talks about He is forgiving towards those that repent. Wa inni lagafarun liman tab. That indeed I am forgiving towards those that repent. Now, when it comes to tawbah, is this a matter of choice or is this a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? This is a spiritual question that doesn't get focused on enough. Tawbah is actually a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He doesn't give to all of His creation. Tawbah is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He doesn't give to all of His creation. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses someone to make tawbah, that is a sign of love from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that individual. That is a sign of love from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that individual. And this is something that is very important to focus on because I want you to look at it this way. We all have mistakes, but not everyone will have their mistakes pointed out to them. Not everyone will have their mistakes pointed out to them. When a person is making tawbah, Allah has pointed out your mistake to you. So He's allowing you to change it with something better, so you can improve yourself as well. On top of that, if there was any sin that was incurred, Allah will change your sin into a good deed. 
and that sin that you have committed will be completely wiped out and forgiven. And then you will become from those that are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not only for your purity, but also due to the fact that you've done an act that is one of the most beloved acts to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many times do you find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that He loves people that do so and so? It's not very common. In fact, maybe 10 to 12 categories you'll find in the Quran. That is what you'll find. The people of Tawbah is one of them. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided you to recognize your mistake, then the genuine thing to do is to recognize your mistake and rectify it and to turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that should not be rejected. That is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that should not be rejected.